Filmmakers descended upon Los Angeles for the first Singafest Asian Film Festival. The event kicked off with a party for the filmmakers and celebrities from various parts of Asia. My WRPN associate Raja Deka spoke with the beautiful Bai Ling. Bai Ling, it has been an honor to have seen you in some of your your main feature roles. What are some of the best work that you're you're most proud of? Everything I do, I'm proud of because uh, everything I do is part of me. So uh, in different ways, because I do many different kind of genre of movie, comedy, drama, action, and science fiction. I think it's all part of my little spirit there, dancing. So I'm proud of all the beautiful spirit that contribute to the films. I have with me Osric Chow, who's done some of the most amazing work. We've seen him in 2012. Now we're going to see him in Fun Size. He's worked with Russell Crowe. He's got a phenomenal, phenomenal martial arts background. I don't know what else to say, but Osric, give us some insight on what this dream ride has been for you lately. The dream ride. I mean, to start off, I want. I just want to be a stunt man. I want it. I love martial arts. I trained for 10 years um, doing wushu. If you don't know what wushu is, it's what Jet Li kind of made semi-popular. But it's basically a Chinese performance martial art, and that's what I wanted to do for the longest time. Um, I went in. I did a few stints and stunts, and that's when I kind of got to know the industry, and I started to get into acting a lot more. And when I got my first job as an actor, it just I kind of fell in love with it. So it's. It's been a wild ride, a crazy few years, and I'm, you know, very happy with how it's been. WRPN's Robert Hatfield spoke with filmmakers at the screenings for the short subjects. I'm here at Singafest 2011 with Mark Villegas, director of Lyrical Empire. Tell us about your film that we've seen here today. Lyrical Empire, Hip Hop in Metro Manila is basically a documentary film about um, some MCs in the Metro Manila area and how they're trying to break through the mainstream and trying to um, trying to make a name for themselves in, in the Philippines where hip hop by Filipino artists is, is basically an underdog story uh, for artists over there trying to uh, trying to make a career out of hip hop. Um, so this is kind of their story and on, on, on the struggles and the different um, obstacles they're, they're going through. So. Um, tell us about the film we, we saw today. Um, it was a short film called Devolution. Uh, it was a, kind of a horror uh, zombie movie where a man's wife is uh, infected with a zombie virus and he has to make a terrible decision when things go horribly wrong in order to save her. Or not save her. You'd have to see the movie to find out. But uh, it's, it's kind of like a short six minute horror film. And I got to ask you, what did you think of the films that you saw today? Um, I was actually really impressed. I mean, the, the technically they were really good and very interesting. I mean, um, you know, uh, me and a couple of the other filmmakers. I mean, uh, we're Filipino American from LA, so it was a really honor to be in a program where it had films from all across the world. And uh, the great thing about getting films that are also international as well is, you know, different point of view, different flavor. So you kind of get run the gamut of uh, styles and, and different kinds of um, different kinds of um, films. So it was, it was really exciting and really interesting. I'm here with my friend Patrick Epino. His film Spunk just played today at the festival. Can you tell us about your film? Yeah, it's a short film, black and white film, um, about a guy coming to terms with a critical part of himself. It's a, it's a comedy. It's kind of a, you know, setup and joke. What do you think of the other films that you saw tonight? Uh, I thought they were great. You know, it was a good variety of stuff, and uh, I thought it was pretty well programmed. And uh, I think, um, you know, there's a lot of talented folks out there. I'm here with Lynn Joe, the PR rep for Singafest. Now tell us, how did the name Singafest come about? Well, this is an interesting story. Well, we think that actually this film festival, this idea was originated from Singapore. We think that Singapore is a perfect place. It's a perfect melting pot that emer that uh, integrated the Western and Eastern culture. So we want to make this single fast film festival to be a platform just as that, as, Singa as Singapore, to matching everything together, to bridge the Western and Eastern together in the in entertainment industry. This is Skip Bolden at the Singafest Film Festival.